Did you know in Teams you can have a viewing party with your friends, co-workers, or just your family members? It's really cool. Hello, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Today's video, we're going to learn how to install a YouTube app within Teams app so we can share videos with our friends and co-workers and family. So let's say in a business environment, you want to share a video with your co-workers. You can certainly do so. You can say, hey, this is a new thing that I've learned. Here's a video. Let's watch it together. In order to install YouTube in your Teams application, go ahead and open Teams and on the bottom left side, select Apps. This will give you an option to browse through all the apps that are available. If you scroll down, you'll probably see in the popular section where it says YouTube. From here, you can simply just select Add, but if you don't see it in here, you can go ahead and search for it in the left search option. Not this option up here, which is the search for everything else, but on the app search engine here. So go ahead and type in YouTube. On the right hand side, you will see the results and go ahead and select Add for YouTube and then select add one more time. This will install YouTube on your Teams. After you install, it's going to open it up automatically, which is great, but in case you miss it and you can't find it, let's say it's not selected. So let's go ahead and select chat, and now we can see that it's not visible there. But if you want to see all of your apps that are installed, go ahead and select the three dots and select view apps, and then here it is. Here are all the apps that are installed in your Teams, and of course YouTube is present here, so go ahead and select and open it. Here you can simply search through YouTube. This is literally plugged into the YouTube and you can search for anything that is there. So in here you can search for your favorite channel or YouTube. So go ahead and type in Kobuman, which is my favorite YouTube channel. And here it is. Here you will see options for YouTube channel and the videos that are available for that YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and select a random video just to see what happens. So I'm gonna select this one here, open, and you can play it from here right away and it's starting and you can pause it and then you've got some controls on the bottom. So let's go ahead and pause it here. Let's look at the controls that we have on the bottom. You got the volume control right now. You got closed caption. And then you got some options that are similar to what you would actually see on YouTube itself. And then you can go to full screen or you can hide the full controls completely here. All right, so this is cool, but how do I share this? So let's go ahead and play this just to see what happens. Uh, pause, okay. So if you want to share this, you can simply select share and share it to people that are within your company or people that are part of your team's app. All right, so let's, that's, that's an option. So if you're in the middle of meeting, you can directly share this video within the meeting that you're a part of. So it's not the meeting that you've started, but it's a meeting that you're a part of. So go ahead and select share in the meeting. It will tell me right now that I'm not in a meeting and it says you're currently not in a meeting. Please join a meeting to present. So it puts you in the presentation mode, which simply just shows the video that you're trying to share. All right, how do I share this in a meeting that I'm leading? So you can go ahead and select present now within the video that you're watching already. So go ahead and select present now. And it says here, you'll be sharing this app for everyone in the meeting to view, which is fine. I want this. This is exactly what I want. I want everybody to see what I am watching and I want to, to basically share and want them to participate within the same, for the same video. So here is the window that you're actually sharing. And within here, they will see this entire video. And if you want to search for specific, specific video, you can certainly do so and then select a different video to share. It doesn't have to be this one specifically or anything that you've started it off with. This is just to get the sharing going. All right. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And here are the options for the meeting that we are starting, the meeting that we are starting with this app going right now. And then a first option is obviously copy meeting link and we can share this meeting link with people that we want to invite to this meeting. We can also add participants and then we can simply get this video we simply get this window where we type in people's names, right? So if we want to do this, let's say Adele, let's see if we can find Adele. We can add Adele and tell her or request her to join our meeting. From here, we can add anybody or even entire groups if this is what we want. We can also share invite if we're already part of this meeting. If somebody wants to share it, they can certainly do so. So it's basic stuff that you would see from Teams, right? From here on out, we can simply go back to our window and you can tell this is the window being shared by the red border that's around it. So we are sharing our screen. In this case, we are sharing the screen for this app specifically. So if we want to share any other videos, we can certainly just pick one that we want and then everybody will be able to see. So this is really great and I hope you like this video. If you do, please leave a comment, say hello, hi, or thank you, or just like the video, or hey, you can share this video with your friends or people that might need this type of training. Thank you so much, I hope you like this video. Take care, bye-bye.